So, and, and Mars happens to work out well for that because it has a CO2 atmosphere, it's got water ice um, in the soil, and with H2O and CO2, you can produce CH4, methane, and oxygen O2. So picking the right propellant is also important. Um, that sort of think of this as maybe there's, there's three main choices. Um, and they have, the, they have their merits, but um, kerosene or rocket propellant grade kerosene, which is also what uh, jets use. Uh, ro rockets use a very expensive form, a highly refined form of, of jet fuel, essentially, which is a form of kerosene. The, the, it helps keep the vehicle size small, uh, but uh, because it's, it's a very specialized form of jet fuel, it's, it's quite expensive. Uh, the uh, reusability potential is lower. Um, very difficult to make this on Mars because there's no oil. Um, so really quite difficult to make the propellant on Mars. Um, and, um, and then propellant transfer is, is, is pretty good, but not, not great. Hydrogen, although it has a high specific impulse, um, is, uh, is very expensive, incredibly difficult to, to keep from boiling off because liquid hydrogen is very close to absolute zero um, as, as a liquid. So the insulation required is, is tremendous, and the, uh, um, the, the cost of, uh, the, en the energy cost on Mars of producing and storing hydrogen is very high. So when we looked at the overall system optimization, uh, it was clear to us that, um, that methane actually was the, the, the clear winner. Um, so we, um, it, it would require maybe anywhere from you know, 50 to 60% of the energy on Mars to, re to uh, refill propellants uh, using the, the propellant depot, and, and just the, the technical challenges are a lot easier. So, so we think, we think methane is actually better on uh, you know, just really almost across the board. Um, and, and we started off initially thinking that hydrogen would make sense, but ultimately came to the conclusion that the, the best way to optimize the cost of unit mass to Mars and back um, is, is to use an all-methane system, or, or technically deep cryomethalox. So those are the four, the four elements that need to be achieved. So, that's, so um, whatever, architect, whatever uh, system is designed, uh, whether by SpaceX or, or, or anyone, we think these are the four features that need to be addressed in order for the system to, to really achieve a, a low cost per, a cost per ton to the surface of Mars. And this is a, this is a simulation of the overall system.